Welcome to tutorial video on Wine 2.6. In this video, I'm going to discuss including the contents of one passage and another in Sugarcube 2.36. So as we've seen across a number of videos now, we often find ourselves in situations where we have the same repeating mac macro usage. We often sometimes have the same text usage in one passage, shows up in another, and potentially shows up in others. For these particular cases, especially where we have repeating text and repeating macro usages, we can use a particular macro include to include the contents of one passage in another. And this can become incredibly useful in more advanced patterns within Sugarcube, where we can break up code we're writing, especially using macros, into different parts and then include them back together. So let's look at an example I've put together of this. I'm going to start, instead of starting at my start passage, at two other passages, and then talk about how I'm using the include macro in a common pattern we find in many interactive stories created with Sugarcube using this particular macro. So over here I have reset statistics, and I have two statistics I'm resetting, brains and brawn to zero each, and it's just uses of the set macro. At the same time, I have a whole different passage called Show Statistics that is using a text styling. I am using this in stronger emphasis or bold using two single quotation marks around brains and brawn to show their corresponding values. Now notice how neither this passage nor this passage have any links to them. There are no connections to them as far as Twine is aware. And this again is where we need to understand the differences between what Twine supplies for us, and then what Sugarcube and other story formats can do with those same passages. So now let's move over to Start and look at what Start shows. So Start shows the use of the Include macro twice. In each case, I am including the contents of another passage in this particular place. So this is including whatever was in Reset, reset Statistics, and this is including what is in Show Statistics. In both cases, I am breaking up more complex, potentially more complex code into smaller parts, again, including them back together. And then finally, moving over to another passage, we see show statistics again. Now, potentially in a much more complex example, which we will see in a future video, we could use multiple uses of the include macro in the same way. Anytime we wanted to reset statistics, we could just include that. Anytime we wanted to show statistics, we could just include with that macro. And the same is also true of other functionality that we might see repeating. There's instances where we might be increasing the value of a variable multiple times. We can define it once, just use the include macro when we want to use it. Again, letting us to break up functionality, break up code into smaller parts. So let's go ahead and play this just so we can see it in action. Notice we have what we just saw. The use of the two set macros ran, we have the use of show statistics, and then we see another passage and the exact same thing again. But notice in all cases, I am breaking this up into parts, meaning that using the include macro to include the contents of one passage in another. As I mentioned as well, notice that there is no visual connection between the passages that are included and the passages that, in that contain the include macro. For reset statistics and show statistics, there is no visual connection because it is generated when the story is run as part of macros in Sugarcube itself. So very useful tool in our increasing toolbox as we are now learning even more macros within Sugarcube, set, if, link, and now include as well. As we build in these, especially as we build more complex patterns, include become incredibly useful for, as I mentioned, breaking things into parts and then including them when needed, allowing us to write one passage that contains what we want and then repeating that passage instead of repeating all those lines whenever we need it within Sugarcube 2.36 and Twine 2.6. Thanks for watching.